Hello everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. We have a question from a fellow boater uh, named Don. Don asks, Jeff, I've been told not to switch batteries while the engine is running. In other words, not to turn the battery switch when the engine is running. Is there any tr truth, <laughs> truth to this? I'm talking about going from battery one to battery two or going from both to battery one or battery two. Great question, by the way, Don. Battery switches actually have a little label never turn off when engine is running. So first thing, battery switches come in different sort of flavors, right? There's on off battery switches. And in this instance, uh, Don is talking about an off one to both switch or an off one to all switch. So basically it's a battery switch that has three posts, uh, battery one, battery two, and the other post is common. Meaning you can choose to run the whole boat off battery one, you can choose to run the whole boat off battery two, or you can choose to run the whole boat off both batteries. The challenge is um, that your starter, which is connected to the common post, is also connected to an alternator. So in turn, when you have that battery switch off, you should not be able to start your engine. You shouldn't, right? That's why the battery is there. And that battery switch allows you to start the engine and run house loads either off battery one or battery two. The problem is that an alternator can never be disconnected from a battery while the engine is running. The reason for that is that you're gonna actually literally blow up the alternator. It's like stopping a car with a wall. It's gonna work, but your car is no longer gonna be a car. So to avoid that, uh, people have been saying, don't turn the battery switch ever off. Now, here's where it gets complicated. Battery switches, like everything else, over time will fail. They do fail. Uh, I see it every week. There's always a service call that we go to where a battery switch has failed. They don't last forever. And most of us on our boats don't end up changing components until they do. So what happens? These switches have this concept of make before break. Meaning they will actually, when you go from one to both, they're actually gonna put both and one together effectively so that you're never, you're always have a, you always have a connection with the battery. And that's assuming that the battery switch is doing a great job. So the make before break is working. Over time, the contacts on a make before break can be not perfect. If ever there is a millisecond of disconnect between the alternator, which is connected to the starter solenoid, which is in turn connected to the common post of the battery switch, which is in turn connected to whatever battery post you've selected, which is then connected to the engine battery or house battery, battery one or battery two. If ever that gets disconnected while the engine is running, you'll lose your alternator. So if you're constantly moving that battery switch from you know one, both and two, if your battery switch is in great shape, no problem, you can do it. But if your battery switch has been there for 20, 30, 40 years, and you're doing that, maybe it's time to think about buying a new battery switch, replacing it, a little bit of preventive change, because if you don't do that, you might lose an alternator. An alternator might be a couple hundred bucks, might be more, depending on the size of your engine. The challenge is not changing the alternator, because that takes time, and you might be savvy to do it. The challenge is what happens if that happens to you when you're far away, you're on a long trip, and now you lost your alternator. Losing an alternator is a big deal. In a car, it's a big deal, and it's a big deal on a boat. Now you've lost the ability of recharging your batteries. So now when you're underway, the loads are effectively running your own battery. And how long can you run loads off a of battery? Some boats might be a couple hours. Some other boats might be 10 hours. Some other boats might be 15. But eventually, you need a way to recharge the batteries even when your engine is running. And that's why battery manufacturers always say at the bottom of those switches, never turn off while running engine. But further than that, if you've got an old battery switch, don't wait till it dies. Because when it's going to die and you turn that dial from one to both or from both to two and you lose it just for a tiny, tiny period of time, you're going to lose both of your alternators. And that would be sad. Very sad. So great question, by the way, Don, and thanks for asking. And if any of you have comments or share your horror stories, because by the way, what Don is asking happened on my boat. Testify. Happened in 2006. And let me tell you, I learned a valuable lesson that day. And here I am sharing my story with all of you. 
So if some of you have experiences of what happened with your boat related to those battery switches failing and maybe losing an alternator, educate the rest of us so that we too can learn from everyone's mistakes and make boating safer for all of us. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.